New at 8, Worcester police need help in solving a cold crime. Vandals targeting a Worcester Babe Ruth League. They damaged the concession stand, and even worse, it's not the first time this has happened. As WBZ's Anna Ritis Rodriguez reports, the repeated attacks are taking their toll on an organization that's helping more than 2,000 kids in Worcester. It's a rainy Monday night at Worcester's Vernon Park, and Steve Sargent is showing me how vandals broke into this field house. This has happened before, and it's just that we have to come up here all the time and deal with it, and we're not getting much help. The field house is one of three, used to support at least 2,000 young athletes. Worcester police say vandals broke in over the weekend. Bob Russo found the damage Sunday morning. I came up here to uh, get something out of the building and found there were no locks left on the doors. And I had been up here Saturday night and brought some stuff up, so I knew they were all right Saturday. Those who run the league tell me vandals ransacked their concession stand, but luckily it's the off season, so they couldn't find any cash. Vandals also broke the locks off this set of lockers and spray painted a tractor. Russo says vandals broke in back in July and it took $2,000. To fix the damage, they broke in on the second floor, walked along the window ledge, and came in a window, came down here and threw all the food all over the floor, all the chocolate sauce, eggs, just totally destroyed this place. They did pay to install security gates two years ago, but say keeping the city property secure has been a challenge and are now urging city leaders for more help. I think it's time that, that we, we think about it and, you know, work with our city leaders to come up with some ways to, to prevent, you know, maybe, maybe alarms on all the buildings. Worcester police say the incident remains under investigation. Reporting in Worcester, I'm Anna Rodriguez, WBZ News.